Hi, this is Neil Walters, the author of The Ancient Success Secrets of the Rabbis in this best-selling Amazon book, The Art and Science of Success, Volume 3. In this video, I want to talk to you about the question, how long does it take to really learn Hebrew? Some people say, I want to be fluent in Hebrew, which means basically they would have like a college-level Hebrew and they would be able to get around in Israel and be able to talk to anyone at any time. That takes a little bit more work. I mean, in Israel, they have a program called Ulpan, and you can go through that, and they basically have, I think, Aleph through Gimel, or actually, no, it's Aleph through, hey, I forget, I think six levels of, uh, of Ulpan. A lot of people don't, don't need that. They just want to know enough Hebrew, either specifically based on what they're doing. Like some people want to learn enough Hebrew to pass their bar mitzvah. They want to learn a little biblical Hebrew in order to more appreciate the Torah, the Bible that they're reading, or to be able to read the Bible in the original language. Other people want to learn conversational Hebrew, so when they go to Israel, they can say, you know, like, where is the auto bus? And I, I, I'd like to buy you know, Coke or, or whatever they want to do. They want to express themselves and have simple conversations in Hebrew. Then to go on further, you might want to take more advanced classes. And let me tell you about some of the classes I've done. I, I, one of my favorite books is Hayya Sod Hebrew. It's 75 lessons. And you go through that book and it's a bunch of stories. Each story is about a page or page and a half and it teaches you the vocabulary, the grammar, and then the story. And then you just repeat that 75 times. So it's a great book, How You Sewed. At Hebrew College, we used a book called uh, Hebrew from Scratch, Ivrit Min Chachila. And they had two books, Aleph and Bet, and each one was two semesters. So basically four semesters of Hebrew there. And that was required to basically even a prerequisite to enter their Master of Arts in Jewish Studies. So those are good books, but then those kind of books you almost need a teacher to, to take you on to a higher level. Now, if you're actually going to go to Israel and maybe you want to study in a university there, then you need you know, a higher level of Hebrew. If you want to become a rabbi, most any rabbinical school requires a very high level of Hebrew. I was checking out what Hebrew college had in the rabbinical school, and they basically, even before you enter, they have a year called uh, Shana Aleph, which is year, you know, first year, which is like a predecessor year or predecessor year that a lot of students have to take before they go into rabbinical school and they learn the basics of Judaism and then they in focus a lot on intensive Hebrew so they're prepared when they actually enter rabbinical school. So those are some of the types of Hebrew that you might want to learn and it all starts with basically learning the alphabet. So check out the offer I have at the end of this video so you can get started from the very beginning and then work your way up to whatever level that you wish to accomplish. For immediate access to our entire series of videos and the frequently asked and should ask questions on learning Hebrew, please visit HebrewInfoCenter.com or you can text your name and email to 214-317-4517. When you do that, I'll immediately send you access to those videos along with the first three audio lessons of our course, the top 400 words of the Hebrew Bible. Look forward to talking to you more and I'll see you on the inside.